Hey guys, good morning. I hope you're having a great day so far. Today we are going to be doing school and we are actually going to be using Harbor and Sprout curriculum. So for today's video, I really wanted to show you what a lesson with Harbor and Sprout curriculum looks like. So if you missed one of my videos recently, I did kind of a flip through and explanation of what Harbor and Sprout is. And basically it's a family style unit study approach curriculum. And I feel like it's perfect for families who wanna add a little more hands-on aspects, who like studying specific topics for like a month and focusing on a topic and themed activities. And also for families who just wanna add a little bit of fun into their homeschool and are homeschooling multiple ages. The way that Harbor and Sprout is broken down is it covers a bunch of different subjects but all relating to a single topic. So you don't do every subject every day. It's broken up between days. You can kind of do it how you want to. Um, today we are going to be doing geography and language arts, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm excited to show you what this looks like and how it can look in your homeschool too. If you're interested, let's go. So the first way that we start our day is by listening to the family read aloud, which happens to be the wild robot for this unit. So I have the audible book and the speaker in the center there plays the book and we just enjoy it. So I have a thing here for you to do. Can you think of some ways you use energy? Draw or write them below. Let's think of something else. What else do we use energy? What do we use to go places? A car. A car. That uses energy, right? What kind of energy does a car use? Mm. What does mommy have to put in the car to make it go? Gas. Yeah. yeah. So can you draw a little car maybe? You can just use shapes. You can do like a, a rectangle and then two little circles for the wheels. Okay, Lacey, what else do we use? Energy. Can you think of something else? Um, I plug in my nightlight mm -hmm. at night. Okay. So it's all nightlight What about even when we use the light switches? We turn on lights, right? That's that's energy. It sure is. And it's electric. Mm -hmm. So this here is what a solar energy map looks like. So this maps where their solar energy is in the world and where the most solar energy is, the least solar energy and that sort of thing. We had a lot of fun learning about solar panels and solar energy and this really cool solar farm in China that's shaped like panda bears. It's pretty cool. And we looked at Google Earth and we got to see the images and it was so fun. I'm drawing what my solar panel farm would look like. Solar farm? Today's science activity experiment, we are going to make a solar oven. I've always wanted to try to make one of those. And we are going to make s'mores in our solar oven. We got a cardboard box. Check. And we gotta get all these items together. Check. Check. Check.
While we wait for our s'mores to cook, we start on language arts, which included a poetry tea time today. We had some donuts and cider, and we listened to a poem called The Bridge Builder. The old man crossed in the twilight dim. The sullen stream had no fear for him, but in turn went safe on the other side and built a bridge. The journey will end with the ending day. You never again will pass this way. You cross the chasm deep and wide. My big good friend in the path I have come, he said. You too must cross in the twilight dim. Good friend, I am building this bridge for him. After discussing the poem and its meaning and story, we sat there and read some picture books that relate to the engineering unit, and we just had a lot of fun. Feel that heat. Do you feel the heat? I feel it. Yeah, you feel the heat? Daddy, are they melty? <gasps> look, oh! look how squishy they are. <coughs> they worked. Oh my gosh, I feel it. Oh, look at the chocolate. Can I have one? Do you see it? Can we each have one now? Okay, so I wanted to kind of show you how I'm organizing Harbor and Sprout because there's so many different pieces and components. This is the way that kind of makes sense to my brain. <laughs> um, so basically I got this like folder thing off of Amazon. I can link it below for you. Um, it has a zipper around the outside edge and then it opens up and there's a bunch of different dividers. So basically, I am printing this um, one, one week at a time, and I have it organized by subject. So I printed everything that I wanted for each subject for the first week, and I put them in there. And then when we get into the second week, I'll do the same thing and kind of put them in there. For every single unit, I'm not planning on using every single subject. It's just too much for just like a, a added resource for us um, in addition to our other curriculum it's just too much so for like this engineering unit we are planning on using science nature language arts math geography and history um, and then I don't think we're gonna do we might do art I don't think we're gonna do music or writing this time um, just because I can't just do it all. Now, so this first section, I have all of the character um, and loose part things in here, all of the plans for, it's hard to do this one-handed. <laughs> all the plans for this week is broken down by each learning level. If you wanna see more details about the pages that are in here, I do have the video with the flip through that shows more detail. Um, so then all the science stuff for the first week is here, all the nature stuff, um, the language arts, which is something we did today, all of those pieces are in there, the math component is in there, geography, which we did today. I think that that's the way that I feel like I want to be organized, um, and also to get away from printing way too much at once, so... Um, yeah, so this is how I'm doing it, and I think it's going to work out well. I like that it's nice and compact. Um, I can just toss this folder, you know, on a sh bookshelf, 
and pull it down when we need it and everything is right there for both of my kids and yeah so i think it's uh going to work out well for us so i hope you guys enjoyed this little video of showing how harbor and sprout works as a lesson kind of what a typical day would look like with it and like i said you can customize what subjects you do which day and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in another video very soon bye